All right, so now that we've looked at what constitutes a binomial and how to find the mean and standard deviation, we're going to look at how to fill out the probability distribution table for the binomial. Because remember, the binomial is a special case of a discrete probability distribution. So we can create a table of possible x values and the probability of those x values for the binomial. So now what I have here is an Excel document that is going to help do that calculation for me. Right here, oops, over here on the right hand side of my screen is a formula. This formula is the formula to calculate the probability of x successes with n trials. P is the probability of success and Q is the probability of failure or 1 minus P. So as we can see, this formula is very complicated and there is no reason to do it by hand. So we're going to let Excel do it for us. So whenever we're approaching a binomial problem and we're asked to find the probability of X successes, let's look at this first one. Or sorry, whenever we want to find the probability of X successes, we want to create a table like this. So the possible successes is always going to start with zero. Zero would be that they were all failures. None of them were successful. All the way down to how many trials you were doing. So in this case, I am doing an experiment where I am conducting 10, 10 trials. So in this case, n is going to be equal to 10. Also, for this particular binomial that I'm looking at, my probability of success is going to be 0.6, or a 60% probability that I have a successful outcome, that I have the outcome that I want. And then my x's are all of these values over here. So Excel is going to do this calculation for me to find the probability. So the probability that all of my attempts are failures. To find this probability, I'm going to do equals binom.dist open parentheses. The first thing I want to enter is the number of successes. Now for this part, it's very important that you click on the zero. Do not type in a zero or what we do after this is not going to work for you. So I'm going to click on the success of zero. I want to know the probability of zero successes. Then I'm going to hit the comma and I'm going to enter in how many trials am I doing. I am conducting 10 trials for this particular binomial. The third thing you have to enter is the probability of success. So the probability of a successful outcome is 0.6. And finally, it wants to know whether we want the cumulative distribution or the distribution of just this x value itself. We want the probability of just this x value, so we are going to always type in false. For the binomial, you are never going to type in true. You could, but we're not going to. We're always going to do false. So now this, what I have typed in, equals binom.dist. I clicked on the zero because that was the first number of successes that I wanted to find the probability for. Comma 10, comma 0 0.6, comma false. This is going to tell me the probability that zero of my trials come out to be successes. So if I hit enter, we see that the probability that I have zero successes out of 10 trials is 0 0.0001. So now we need to fill in the rest of this table but since we clicked on the zero for that first piece, we can fill in this table much faster. I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to bring it into the bottom right corner until it changes into a different style of plus. 
So right now, looking at the plus sign, it's a thick white one. I want to see it change into a black plus. Once it changes into the black plus, I'm going to click and drag down to the bottom of my table. When I release my cursor, it is going to fill in the probabilities for each X value using the formula off to the right. Boom. So the probability that I have one success in my experiment is 0 0.00157. The probability that two of my trials are successful is 0 0.0106. All the way down to the probability that all 10 of my trials are successful is 0 0.0061. So now that I have filled in this table, I can answer any question about this binomial. I can answer what is the probability of having less than five successes? Well, let's answer that question. So what is the probability of less than five successes? Well, to find that, I'm going to take all of the ones. So less than five would be four, three, two, one, or zero. So I'm going to sum the probabilities of 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0 together. So the probability that I have less than 5 successes is the probability of 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0 successes added together, which is 0 0.1662. So a approximately a 16.6% chance that I have less than five successes in this experiment. And I can answer any other question about the binomial based on this table.